Today, um, we're going to be deep diving into the significance of customer feedback in product development. So how does actively collecting and acting upon customer feedback contribute to long-term customer success and product enhancement? Yep, really, really good question, John. I think the, the most obvious thing that, that I think a lot of uh, people in SaaS generally tend to forget is really understanding the core of what your customers actually want. Uh, I, you know, I come across even myself uh, a lot of really high logic around how customers should be using my platform uh, or services that I've uh, worked at in, in the past, but nothing really beats hearing from your users exactly what they're after. Um, there's an element of, you know, they understand best if they're working in a different industry than you and they're using a specific product um, or they're using your product rather. Uh, maybe you're not the best person to use your logic to define or decide what is best for them. Um, so there's, as I said, there's an element of them uh, wanting stuff and there's an element of them needing stuff to get their job done. And I think the needing is, is one thing, but the wanting, the sentiment side of wanting is really important. It shows that you're actually listening as well. Um, I find when I jump onto some of these calls, if I am actually gauging feedback in a success call, uh, listening to them is, is really, really important for them to uh, trust me, I suppose, to let them know that I'm, I'm going to advocate for them, I'm going to fight for them. Uh, and the first step in doing that is actually listening uh, and interpreting what they have to say. So yeah, understanding your customers' uh, needs and wants is really crucial to, to building products that they actually like. Yeah, I completely agree with that. And uh, I guess that, that starts at the very beginning of the handover, whether um, you have a handover from an account executive or the salesperson and they the user becomes a customer, you're just as much their champion as uh, for product improvement and helping them be successful, uh, but uh, just as much as they are your product champion um, to spread your product throughout the rest of the organization. Really, really good point. I think I didn't even really consider the, the handover part that you just mentioned, but that's really integral to ensuring that if you are committing to a really positive experience with them, um, you know, the first 30 days or even the sales process all the way through to the um, customer success manager is huge. Um, you know, that, that salesperson is likely making many promises. Um, it's possible that they're taking feedback and ideas about what's missing in the product as well. Um, they might be nodding their heads saying, yep, that sounds fantastic. We're going to be approaching that in the next year. Um, but I think articulating that or passing that along to the customer success manager and ensuring that CSM really, um, what's the word that we're looking for, reasserts uh, what they've asked for and what their expectations are. Um, it's one thing to build and to meet the meet them with solutions, uh, but I think recognizing what they're saying and understanding what they need is, is almost 70% of, of making them happy. Uh, I know others will disagree, but I think really uh, listening to people and understanding people gets the sentiment uh, across and uh, having the functionality is, is a whole other thing. Yeah, it's it's definitely a um, from a, a CSM perspective and the, that balancing act of uh, keeping the customer happy and taking on board all of the feedback that they have, um, it's definitely a tough gig.